Mrs. Congressman, please heed the call. Das Land ist bankrott, die nationale Sicherheit liegt in Trümmern. Wille des Volkes hat sich gewandelt. Wenn dieser Mann heute gewinnt, wirft man uns raus. Wir leben nicht länger in Friedenszeiten. What I mean, you you grew up with the royals. So, what's your own experience with this royal family? And what was your first reaction when you were approached to actually play the royal? My first reaction was, yeah, I was excited. I mean, I, I loved the show very much uh, long before I was there was any suggestion of being a part of it. So, uh, just being a purely kind of writing um, drama sense, I was excited to sort of take it on. It's obviously a sort of there's an element of a nice challenge about it, you know, playing someone. Uh, who is so well known? Um, so everyone sort of thinks, or at least thinks they know who he is and and how, what he sounds like. Um, I mean, growing up, I didn't. He wasn't hugely present in my life. Um, I, I sort of had a sort of healthy sort of disinterest in the whole thing and and didn't know much about them really. Um, but yeah, so a big big part of starting was yeah, just getting to. Reading about them, finding out about you know what this what this family is, its history, and it's yeah. If nothing else, it's an interesting history. Mm. Then what's a, what surprised you the most when you really did delve into it and put on his skin? I mean, his childhood is pretty um, tough. You know, he was um, in many regards, in many ways, you could say, orphaned from sort of pretty young age. You know, his. Mother spending time in in mental asylums. Um, his father pretty absent for long, long periods of his childhood. Um, you know, for any child, that's a that's a tough entry. And so, yeah, it's hard not to feel that must have have shaped the you know the man that we know. Wenn das so ist, habe ich zwei Ratschläge für dich. Wende dich nie von deiner Liebe ab. Und der zweite? Hüte dich vor deiner Familie. Sie meinen es gut. It must have been incredibly challenging because it feels like this season we really get to know a lot about Philip. Like we, you have a lot of material to work with. Yeah, yeah. So, um, how did you approach that? Did you did you go through the different stages of your life, having the background and just going and reading the words from the script, or had you talked to certain people at different points in his life to try and? I never managed to find people who knew him, so I was mainly off the back of. We have an amazing research team, so they were able to give me a lot of material to yeah. read, a lot of footage to look at, a lot of audio to listen to, and then obviously Pete has done a lot of the work in terms of the story that we then can construct out of that stuff, um, which is an act of, of fiction. You know, it's yeah. not documentary, so you know there is no evidence that you know. Um, he became obsessed with the moon landings, but you know that's at the heart of episode seven, and uh -huh. um, you know so. But we do know that you know he um, he the start of his quite long term relationship with the dean of Windsor at that time. So those two, you know, mm. fact and fiction is woven together to make you know to make those moments in the story. Eyes have they, but they see not. They have ears, but they hear not. Uh, noses have they. But they, uh, uh, um, see, it's not as um, general anaesthetic. Ah, but they smell not. They that make them are alike unto them. So is everyone that trusteth. That's it. That's the last time. And, and obviously, you, you and Olivia, you know, were have to be very very close yeah. um and you have to explore a different chapter of that relationship mm. so did you know each other well how did you connect and how was it working together did you have the same style or similar yeah styles? we would work together before um i'd worked with her on the night manager um and we knew each other socially so yeah i, I think i mean interestingly enough i think we didn't talk about it hugely we i think wanted to sort of keep our powder dry Discover it in front of the camera rather than before, um, and you know Olivia's wonderful to work with, and yeah, so it's been a really fun journey, sort of bringing out the different textures and the different kind of qualities of of this very long-running marriage. 